grew up with Ayaya and now I'm still with my Ayaya. She's taking care of my two kids. Maraming maraming salamat po, Ayaya Nuning. Ayaya, alam mo yan. Hello mga kachika, super thankful nga ni Isabel Daza dahil nga sa success ng kanyang isinulat at ipinablish na libro na patungkol sa kanyang yaya luning. At ang nakakabilib nga dito ay hindi pa nga makikita ang libro na ito sa any bookstore dito sa Pilipinas, kundi available lamang ito sa Hong Kong. Pero dahil gusto nga rin niyang ma-share ang kwento niya at ng kanyang yaya luning sa mga Pilipino ay available na nga rin to online through Lazada. At alam naman ng lahat na kahit may asawa na ngayon si Isabel Daza, ay kasakasama pa rin nga niya si Yaya Lunin kahit saan siya magpunta. At ito nga ay nag-aalaga ngayon sa kanyang dalawang anak na si Baldi at Valentin. Halika at panoorin natin ang storytelling time Isabel Daza sa kanyang libro na Yaya Lunin. This is a book I wrote when I was in university, maybe 15 years ago. And it's always been one of my dreams to publish a children's book. So, long time in the making, 15 years. Yaya Luning, it's entitled, written by me, Isabel Daza, and the illustrator is Jewel Villarisco. She's an amazing illustrator. So let me read it to you. This is something that I always read to Balthazar and now Valentin at night. Yaya Luning. For my Yaya Luning, who is always smiling, and to all the other Yayas out there who love selflessly and dedicate their lives to caring for children. When I was born, Mama and Papa needed extra help at home. So Yaya Luning came to take care of me. But it didn't mean that Mama and Papa loved me any less. On my first day of preschool, Yaya packed my favorite fruits and animal crackers. Yaya Luning knew I was scared, so she stayed in school and waited for me to finish. When I was sick, Yaya Luning would bring me hot soup and medicine to make me feel better. Yaya would watch my soccer games and always had a jug of water for me. When I would have dinner with Mama and Papa, Yaya would prepare something special for me. After dinner, Mama and Papa would read me a story, and Yaya didn't mind reading to me again. When I would throw tantrums, Yaya Luning was extra patient with me. Yaya? Yaya! Yaya, where are you? Then one day, I found Yaya sick in her room. So Mama and I cooked some soup to make Yaya feel better. Then I read Yaya Luning a book, tucked her into bed, and prayed for her to get well. Yaya gave me a kiss and thanked me for helping her get well. The end. So I really wrote this book for my Yaya Luning and of course for all the other Yayas out there kayo po ang mga unsung heroes, kumbaga. You, we want to shed light on how important your work is dahil hindi namin magagawa ang lahat kung wala po kayo doon. You guys deserve all the love in the world. From one person who grew up with a yaya and now I'm still with my yaya, she's taking care of my two kids. Maraming maraming salamat po, yaya Luning. Yay, alam mo yan, alam mo mahal kita. At sa lahat ng mga yaya out there, Anong masasabi nyo mga kachika? Just comment down below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you!